been here so late. I know it's been a long day for y'all, but uh, it was a good win for us, a bounce back win. I thought we uh, were very competitive last night against Boston College. I thought we made some um, critical errors defensively and little things being a young team that you do. Um, and I think we had a good film session today, a good scout report, corrected some things, and, and I got a great effort from 12 guys tonight. I know uh, Greenwood didn't have the game that he'd like to have. He was exhausted from his performance last night, but he, he battled. But really impressed with Deshaun Delaney and Jordan Goodman's games tonight. Uh, gave Jordan a chance uh, to get going, and, and he showed what he's capable of doing. He's got a long way to go from uh, his knee surgery, but really happy about the effort from all my guys. Um, you know, and I, I played a walk-on kid that I kind of recruited and Tim Jacobs who played seven minutes and gave, gave you a break so you know I, I, I was really impressed with my guys effort and I thought Arthur Edwards did a really good job on Holloway early because uh, that was his assignment I thought he did a good job he's not going to get a lot of credit with his stats but uh, I thought he was terrific when he started the game on him and game kind of went as we wanted and we just got to get better at some areas and make some free throws but all in all it was a good win for us. How do you think how the team responded without Cullen before after the game? Well it was good you know when you you lose your leading scorer who's getting 20 plus a game and he's playing point guard you know I, I know Hugh misses him just because you guys watched the game last night Hugh has 11 points in eight minutes and you know anytime you can you got a point guard that's willing to get the ball up, even though Collins can score. Um, you know, it's it's always good. But we missed him last night in the second half. Um, our guys really battled and kept the game close, but we couldn't get over the hump. But they really responded with that not having another ball handler or another shooter on the floor. So I was impressed with our guys, and they've kind of rallied around him and then been there for him. So it's been a tough deal for him, but. I thought our guys responded well and, and stepped up, and some of the guys took opportunities of their chances. Nah, he's just um, right now we have an ortho looking at him, but uh, we, you know we're there was no fractures in the X-ray, but they'll go back and we won't know anything till he gets some other tests with the MRI and, and our doctors look at him when he gets home. Since y'all won, I can ask humorous vein, but do you all need to work on blocking out after Siobhan Thompson? Yeah, we do. He's got 19 rebounds, 10 offensive, so we do have to block out. I think that's a that's a thing that we've been working on, but our guys like the ball watch, and they don't understand sometimes that when it goes up, you got to go block out, so, um, you know, he, he was really good on the boards for them and had a, had a big night. Maybe it's just your personality, but when you came in yesterday after loss, you didn't seem to Overly upset. I'm sure you were upset about loss, but it didn't come across that way. Is that just because this team was young? Well, I think I think last year would have been a little different because our expectations were different with our veteran guys. But uh, I don't think I can do that with this team. I think with all the new faces, all the ups and downs, we're going to have some ups and downs. But I, I don't think that you know I can I can be you know really upset. I got to be a teacher. And that's what I really am in it for. I've got to make an impact on these guys and kind of coach them a lot more and, and teach them about the game. Because we got some guys that are new to the Division One game. And uh, that's going to be the key for, for me, helping my guys get better. And, um, you know, there's a lot more important things than, than wins and losses. Sometimes, it, you know, it's, it's not that big a deal. And, and last night, it was very difficult for me because I'm playing coach and I'm playing dad. Where you're concerned about your player, and then you got a major concern for your son, and then you got to worry about your team. So I was just trying to be coach, dad, and then also take care of my team where it doesn't do me any good to get upset at them. They gave me great effort. If they give me great effort, I have no problem with that. Then I have to be a teacher and teach them how to play the right way and finish games. But, you know, one thing I don't like to do, and one thing that we don't do at New Mexico for the last eight years, we don't teach effort. So we, we, our guys seem to play hard, so that's always good. What do you know, if anything, about uh, Texas a &M? Well, I, I know they're very talented now that they've got House in. He's cleared, so I'm sure he's on his way here. Um, Caruso I've known for a really long time when he was a high school player. Uh, watched him several times on the AAU circuit. Really like their big players. Um, so it'll be a great challenge for us. Um, you know, we're looking forward to it. It should be a very good game, and it's, it's an opportunity for our, our team to 
bounce back after the tough loss to Boston College and a good win against George Mason to play a team like Texas A&M. So it'll it'll challenge us, and I think uh, our guys will look forward to it, and um, we'll see see how they respond. Okay. Thank you.